Hello everyone. All right, so the goal of this video, and hopefully I'll be able to keep it pretty short, is to go over some of the newer updates in Google Meet. They keep rolling out some updates, so I just want to go over a couple of them, which are hand raising, and then also some more of the breakout room features. So maybe I'll start with the breakout room features. If I go into breakout rooms and I set up the breakout rooms, a new feature is this timer, so I can time how long they're in the breakout room and then everybody comes back after that set amount of time. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna set the breakout rooms for five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rooms and I'm gonna show you what the student view looks like on the right. So the student will be asked to join their breakout room. They're gonna go ahead and go in their breakout room and they will see at the top of the screen that the breakout room is ending in five minutes and that will actually be a countdown. And so I'll let you see what that looks like. Another feature that they now have is that they can ask for help. So when they ask for help, you'll see a little pop-up message right away on your screen that says that that person asked for help. As well, if you have the breakout rooms tab opened, you'll see an actual message that doesn't go away. The pop-up will go away that says whoever asked for help. So I can see Ed asked for help. And I can go ahead and now join that room to help Ed. As soon as I go and I join that room, you can see that now that request for help has gone away for Ed because I am already in there and helping. It also clears the message from my screen. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and now leave that breakout and come back. So the other thing that students can do when they're in their breakouts is they can return to the main call if they need to for any reason. So if you're in the main call, for example, they could return to the main call at any moment and then you can push them back into the breakout room if you need to. You can see that my countdown timer is going, so I have three minutes left, and so that will continually count down until the time is up. Now, one more thing that I just wanna note on this screen, there is still the raise hand when students are in breakout groups, but that's not going to trigger anything for you. If they need to ask for help in the breakout rooms, they need to use this ask help raise hand. You'll see that there is nothing triggered on your screen if you are in the main call. You can't see what's happening in that breakout group. So that's just something that you have to let students know. Again, this countdown timer is still going. When that timer is up, they will automatically be brought back to the main room. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like as soon as this is over. So now, because they're almost coming back, they get a red alert and they see that they're coming back to the breakout room and everything ends automatically and we return to the main call. Now everybody is back in my main call and I just wanna show you what the hand raising looks like. So if a student raises their hand, I get on the teacher view, I get a little noise chime and it said that somebody had raised their hand. But how do I see that? Again, the pop-up goes away after only a moment. So if you go back and you actually look at the participants view, so this view right here, then you can see who has raised their hand. And you can also see on their little tile, that hand raise icon. And so Ed over here has his hand still raised. He can lower his hand by clicking it if he doesn't wanna ask a question anymore, but you can also lower the hand. So if you answered the question, then you can go ahead and lower the hand after you have answered the question. So that is really it. The main things that are new are the hand raising for everybody. And again, go to this participants tab to be able to see who has raised their hand. And then the other thing is in the breakout rooms, let's go ahead and set them up again. You now have the timer that you can add. The shuffle was always there. You can rename the breakout rooms, don't forget. You can manually place people by dragging and dropping. And then when people are in the rooms, they can now ask for help or return to the main call. So anyway, that's a quick overview. I hope that this helps and bye for now.